dignities. Yes, the Bible speaks of the four living creatures. And in the book of Revelation, these creatures have eyes all over their body. And if you should come across one of these creatures, you might be saying to yourself, it is a demon because you don't know better. Because it's such a wonderful and a beautiful thing. But true, you are not familiar with the Bible. You will say this thing because it does out of the ordinary. Eyes all over its body. But the emphasis that I'm trying to bring to the forefront of your mind that we are not alone. These are the creatures that cry, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. The Bible speaks about the seraphim, the cherubim, the archangels, thrones and dominion. It also speaks about the watchers. You have angel that watches. Amen. The Bible speak about the book of remembrance. So there are many, many, many things. Yeah, we are not alone. We are not alone. Even while the apostle Peter was in prison and was waiting to be executed. We all know that it was an angel that came in and set him free. Amen. Because sometimes you will see people out on the street going here and there. And sometimes you might think they are real people. But sometimes they are not real people. As you and I. Meaning human beings. They can be angels in disguise. How they can be demon in disguise. Amen. I'm saying that we are not alone. Hallelujah. We are not alone. I have encountered strange things. Hallelujah. That if I begin to speak about these things, many people will get terribly afraid. And wonder if what I'm saying is really true. Amen. There is a reason why I came today and I'm saying what I am saying. I'm not here trying to scare people. Hallelujah. But I want you to understand that we are not alone. We are not alone. God made the visible. He made the invisible things that we can see and the things that we cannot see. But they are round about us. Day and night. Things that we cannot even begin to comprehend that is round about us. Because there are many, twice, or should I say thrice, or even more spiritual being, the invisible reality that is round about us more than human being upon planet earth. Amen. Glory to God. I think I'm going to bring my message to a close soon. But the one thing I'm trying to highlight and bring into focus, saying that, brothers and sisters, we are not alone. Many people don't believe in alien. But again, I'm saying that <clears throat> we are not alone. Maybe you need to think twice or thrice where this is concerned. Because I have, have experienced, other people have, have experienced encounters that sometimes when they begin to tell you what they have encountered, what they have seen, I'm not talking about in dream, I'm talking about a physical manifestation encounters real encounters that will cause 
the doubters to begin to think again. Amen? That of a truth we are not alone. You see, while I was an early believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, and I didn't know what were written in the Bible, my eyes were open to see. And I was just seeing and seeing and seeing. And I used to see giants. Giants. And when I say giants, I'm talking about maybe 20 foot, 30 foot beings. And I've been seeing them on a regular basis. My eyes open and I see them like how I see the physical human being. But I was in the spirit, but my eye was open to see them, and they were tall being moving up and down on planet Earth. You know, they were moving up and down, and that is what I would call seeing in the spirit. You know, but I always seen these gigantic beings, these tall beings, and sometimes when I see them, I know. How tall them be? I don't know, but I just know 